Hello, my name is Ben. I'm a technical marketing engineer here, part of the Prisma Cloud team at Palo Alto Networks. And I'm excited to talk to you guys today about Prisma Cloud's new support for multi-cloud infrastructure entitlement management. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so, so really when we talk about multi-infrastructure uh, entitlement management, what does that mean? That means Prisma Cloud now supports for uh, both AWS and Azure, um, the ability to calculate and analyze net effective permissions, monitor for risky and unused entitlements, and offer you know, least privilege recommendations for roles and users that it identifies. And really that all boils down to the need for uh, organizations who define policy, uh, thought leaders, you know, look at different um, you know, standards and protocols and controls and say, okay, you know, we need to adhere to, to, to this plan, we need to invoke a least privileged policy, and we're gonna do these things to enable that. What Prisma Cloud can help is we can actually be the auditing force that actually takes a look at how your least privileged policy is actually working in your cloud environment across both AWS and Azure. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking about it and show you how it works. All right, awesome. So logged into the product here, we're on the alerts overview page. I've just done a simple filter for policy types uh, for identity and access management. And we're looking at both AWS and Azure. So here's some of these policies uh, that help you uh, detect uh, misconfigurations, policy violations. So let's look at um, this overprivileged alert here. Let this load. And this one is identifying uh, identity access permissions that are overprivileged. So let's take a look at one of these users and kick off an investigation. And here, I just want to show you guys um, the capabilities with RQL. So this is the actual um, RQL statement that's generating, that's searching for this alert. Uh, so you can kind of use these as a reference point and, and change the parameters uh, and get very specific with future investigations. We'll just give this a second to load. And here we see that we have uh, the destination uh, as well as the action here. So we can see all of the different actions uh, that Justin has been um, executing here. And it looks like a lot of like delete statements. So we see here like uh, delete network gateway. So if we wanted to actually look more into that, we can actually see the permission details that actually granted that action. And we can see here that he is actually using the role name owner, which actually grants full access to managing all resources. Um, so oftentimes this can happen just as uh, the needs of uh, development and the needs of IT infrastructure uh, services need to come up. There can be frustration around uh, provisioning. There's a lack of understanding around all the different capabilities and permissions. And sometimes uh, you know, a, a overly permissive role can be assigned to get a certain action completed. And here we can kind of go back and um, circle back to where we can actually remediate this. So if we click over here on the remediate button, we can actually view not only, um, we're not even only being shown like, hey, here are the actions that are being committed. Uh, we're actually now providing you a clipboard command that you can use to um, remediate this over privilege account. And also you could use this um, as a reference point or kind of a template to go ahead and make future uh, changes to your role-based policy. So with that, that's, I hope that short demo gives you just a small glimpse into the capabilities of cloud infrastructure and title management for both AWS and Azure. As always, hope you guys have a good rest of your day and week. Take care.